subscribers who have crossed that threshold into the educational ministry platform, okay? Y'all know y'all be learning a lot of this shit. Like, damn, I know I be even, damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, I'm in the house of a student, so I get excited. <laughs> also, I like to thank my faithful ones, that's you, who have tuned into the Tarot Temple on a regular basis, if not every week. Those of you who showed up even when I couldn't, thank you so much. You are my sweethearts, you are my loves, you are my special ones. We're going to go ahead and get started with your a copper status spread, which awards you a five card spread, a summary, and a spiritual vibe oracle message. Which one? I don't know, but we won't waste any more time talking about what you can read in the intro. Anytime you see me shuffling, it's indicative or indicative of supporting the temple. So it doesn't cost anything, you know, just reach for the thumbs and press it. You know, you can always change your mind in the end, okay? Um, also, check the description box on a regular basis and click on the links. Just click it. Just check it out. All right. Overall energy for you is the Six of Cups in reverse. And it's based on the Ten of Wands reverse. You have the Nine of Swords. It's coming from the King of Wands reverse. And then you have the Ten of Cups reverse. Okay. Okay. And we have the Emperor in reverse this week, okay? Underlining energy, just checking. So I don't know if this is you, I don't know if you're in Emperor energy, or if this is your employer, your father, your father figure, um, somebody that's in charge of the gang, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it's the controller, okay? Uh, he who sets the rules, the standards, the mandates, is his, he owns it, he's in full control. Okay, whoever's running it, underlying energy, is just taking note. Just watching what's going on. You may even be tiptoeing around. He could be... Um, This is you. I don't know how to say that. It's like I don't know if they've been told something and they're trying to see. I don't know if they've been told or if you've been in a relationship with this person. I don't know if this is your employer. I don't know where it's coming from, but they're trying to see. But I see that your energy is based on this Ten of Wands, which is lighter. It's lighter. Lighter work. A lighter, you're, you're less burdened. Okay, so maybe th this is definitely work-related, okay? It's based on, uh, you have the same responsibilities, but... It's not as intense or as heavy as it once was. I don't know if you lift and carry and all of that kind of shit. I don't know if you do U-Haul. This is the owner. He's sitting back watching. I think he took some, I mean, some notes. You know, somebody's been peeking back here and there. You know, reporting. Didn't I say that? Letting them know. I don't know how you report, but he's been reporting. Stem from the King of Wands reverse. And I'm here and looking back. A neutral stance. Waiting to get the go. So this person is kind of like on their head, like waiting. They don't know when to go forward. Waiting on the go. This could be you. This is your energy. This is your element. Fire. King of Wands. This could be you. Masculine or feminine. It doesn't matter to me. It's the energy of, you know, about getting going. But you can't get going. You had a halt for some reason. Or you're feeling very neutral. A 
um, some of you, you may want to go back, you know, because it's lighter now. It's easier for you. Now, for some of you, this is about reverse. For some of you, this could be about driving skills. And this was in somebody else's reading last week, a, a week or two ago. I mentioned something about stick shift, and it's showing up here. So this could be relating to a position where you drive the, the forklifts the sh and you use the stick shift. Something about the stick shift drive, you know, and I'm feeling like you may have to be trained or you may know how to do this. It's, it's going to be lighter for you. It's going to be an easier position. You're just waiting on the go. And I'm, I feel like this emperor is waiting, is watching to see if you are capable, if you're able to do this or if you, you know, what you're going to do, how you're going to make moves, if you're going to return, if you're going to, if you're neutral. I don't know, this is crazy. Because your overall energy is some reminiscent of the past, something from the past comes back. Somebody from the past returns. And for some people, this is moving in. Okay? Okay? I also heard moving up, moving up, okay? Give me a top and bottom card from Centaurs and Manchild for this week's work in money. Dear source, when it comes to the King of Wands reverse and the Ten of Wands. Ooh. So surprisingly, things were put to a halt. Or this was just a com complete ending out of nowhere, like. But I feel like this was good news. I feel like this is good news. Like there was just an ending, but I see you kind of trying to sort a lot out. Are you worried maybe about what choice you want to make or um, about this return? Because this is nostalgia. This is somebody from the past. This is from the past. I don't know if this is about going back to a place where you once worked. I don't know if it's got to deal with a person, a soulmate person. Because this King of Wands is kind of reckless. If, if, if this is his attitude and his behavior, he's kind of being stiff-necked and... Probably feeling jealous. They want to come back, but you feel concerned about that because this light alone, you know. Also based on some information or some tips. Because look at it. Can I tell you this, this underlying image is this emperor. Somebody's telling him something. Just want some tips, some clues, some cues. Putting something in the ear. Okay, Q tips, putting something in the ear. So your ear. So your brain is pretty much rattled and all over the place and you may even feel a little bit discombobulated because this is about dealing with the past. A person from the past or some work from the past. That's something to do with a surprise ending. But I feel like I 
for some of you, it was dealing with you. You was, you was coming up, and all of a sudden it ended. You was coming up, you know, but all of a sudden it ended. It was put to a halt. It was stalled for some reason. And that's why you had to return, or they have to return to you, or to it, or to them. I don't know. This is crazy. But, I, but what's so crazy about it, you got this Ten of Cups in reverse because of this. And this is feeling very close, like you belong to the community, to the family, to the group. Okay? And some of you, you really do have to figure out how to do some type of, somebody got to figure out how to drive this stick ship. I don't know what kind of car it is, but they, they got to, you know how you have to study the little book and give you little tips on how to deal with it or, or how to drive, you know, whatever it is. And to me, on how to drive means, you know, how to push forward in your work, okay? Um, how to get it done. So some of you have to revisit this. But whatever it is, whomever, whatever you're going back to in the outcome, you're going to feel close. Or you're going to be, somebody's going to make you feel at home. Somebody's going to make you feel like you belong. Okay? This is a happy home. This is where you want to be. The Ten of Cups reversed. This is a tight-knit family, a tight-knit group. You know, this to me is when... A husband and wife are friends. Because they got these pointers, these cues, these tips, these Q-tips. So it's all about, even in your mind, you may be reminiscing about the past. And you may be picking up on some cues and some tips that's going to help you feel closer to the family, to the group, to the community. But for some of you, this King of Wands is kind of angry. Like, he, he may drive a sports car, okay? You can hear it grinding. Like, you can hear the motor. You can hear the motor. I can hear it now. But I don't know if you're going to be with this person or not. But in the outcome, you're going to be with some group. Somebody, some family. His family, you all don't know. Work family. This is weird. Let me sum this up because this, you don't have enough energy here for me to, you, you wasn't even supposed to get reason cards. I forgot. I gotta remember that. Again, you got a, 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 a bonus from the source. Okay, I got to be more careful. Okay, Centaur's a man child. Ooh, a fan. So this is somebody who may really like you. I think they're driving over there. This is somebody from your past. You got aura. And the underlying. And it's the lowercase. So I don't know. This could stand for retro. Like returning, coming back. That's what it is. That's some dude, somebody that really likes you. A fan, a friend, an associate, or a neighbor. Let's get you a written word. Crazy. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy. And I believe for some of you, this King of Wands is this Emperor. It's the same person. It's just depending on his actions, what energy he's carrying at the time. I don't care if it's a feminine or a masculine. It's masculine energy. Because I don't know what kind of relationship you in, okay? And I don't judge nobody. Trying to include everybody. You know what I'm saying? Get out your feelings and go get it yourself, money bag, yo. Speak your truth or die a lie. Dr. Siri Sotnam singing. I'm going to leave it on that note. 
Centaur is a man child. Thank you so much for tuning to the Tarot Temple once again for working money. You know I can't wait to bring you another one. But until then, remember to walk by faith in your third eye sight. To next week, we'll talk. Which means peace be unto you and one love. Where is up? What time do you go for? Uh, um, fan. They are uh, fanatic or something. This type of peace and love. <laughs> That's crazy to me.